more comfortable position because we're going to tell you the story on how we met. There's been a lot of speculation on what happened and, like, just, like, in general, like, what the heck happened. Guys, you're not ready for the story on how we met. Uh, I don't even know if I'm ready to tell it. I'm not ready to tell it with this pimple on my face. Okay. So, I'm just going to get this out there. There's a disclaimer. Um... I'm not advising any of you guys to do anything that I did, but I'm also not telling you guys that what I did was wrong because I'm a real firm believer in that things happen for a reason. Let's go back to 2015, spring 2015. I went through a really hard time I was bored in my previous relationship, and I took a break from um, my ex, and I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to get in trouble or anything, and I don't want, like, legal stuff or whatever to happen, but I took a break from my ex, and I was venturing off and seeing the other things that are out there because, you know, when you're young, like, when you're tied down to someone for that long, you start getting curious. Like, I loved him to death. I loved him so much, but I was so young, and I, he was the only guy I was ever with, like, and I was 19, and I was with him for five years, so that's usually the time of, like, learning and stuff. Let me play with my hair. So I started seeing other guys, and it wasn't necessarily fair to my ex because, obviously, it's not fair to the other, the other party because when you want to take a break and the other one doesn't agree with the break and the other one wants to take the break, it's obvious someone's going to get hurt. And you, like, can't control your feelings and stuff. So um, I took a break. I fell for a few people. But then I ultimately went back to him because it, it's what was comfortable at the time. But I wasn't fully happy. And I felt like a bad guy because I was trying to force feelings that weren't there and I wanted those old feelings to come back because that's all I knew and I was fearful of what my life would be like without that person so I was trying to force a feeling that I once felt but that like that wrote its course and that's obviously like something really impossible to like force a feeling if you've been there you probably know that so I do guys know my friend Kimmy died um when I was 14, I hadn't visited her grave in years. And I was going through so much the summer 2015. I went to her grave and I prayed, 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 prayed that like I would get some kind of feeling for him again that I once felt. And um, as you guys know, I wrote the song It last year and the song It was about a guy that I had a fling with like um, when I was on my break and I felt I felt for my ex because I wouldn't I would never want to be in that position either like it scares me to think like what if the person I have feelings for like is losing feelings and is scared to tell me and whatever I just felt for him so I went to Kimmy and I prayed all like all the time because I, I am spiritual for those who ask so I tried to turn to like God and one month later I'm at my beach house I'm miserable I'm crying and Allie texts me and goes, hey, do you want to come to the beach with me July 24th to the 26th? And I'm like, yeah, sure, of course. At that point in my life, I was just looking for adventure because I was so bored with my repetitive life and relationship. And I just always was looking for adventure. And I sometimes resulted to like bad things to find adventure, like drinking and um disrespecting my parents and rebelling and last summer was pretty tough for them and I feel really bad I went to the beach with her and the first night I mean you I vlogged it literally I started the vlog channel like because I was so bored with my life I wanted a vlog channel so I, I started the vlog channel literally two days before I went to the beach with Allie like it's insane that this is all goes back to when I first started my vlog channel <laughs> The second vlog I ever uploaded was the car breaking down on the way to this beach, on this beach trip. The lifeguards on the beach were checking out Allie and I. And we're like, hey, you want to come to our party or whatever this night? And we're like, yeah, sure. So we went to this party. And I don't advise, guys, like, if you have, like, a serious relationship, like, 
please don't like follow my example or anything. Like I was just looking for adventure. And I went to this party. Allie and I made a few friends with the lifeguards and the girls that were in the house that were like the girlfriends of the lifeguards or like mutual friends. So then they're like, oh, come the next night. And we're like, okay, sure. And uh, this was in Avalon in Cape May, New Jersey, those beaches. And the next day, her work friends were meeting us at the beach. And I didn't know, like, there were any, like, cute guys or whatever that worked with her. I th I was honestly just expecting, like, her girlfriends from work and maybe a few, like, of her close friends that I already knew of. They all come the next day. And this one is one of her work friends. And I'm like, how I pull Allie aside. I'm like, Allie, since when did you tell me, like, why didn't you tell me that there is this adorable guy that works with you like this is trouble I'm obviously set up for trouble because right off the bat I was like oh my god I really like him like I really really like him he's cute and I saw how he was treating you know my friend Nash she worked with Allie too so she was on this beach trip and him and Nash were like having so much fun in the waves I'm like wow that's how he treats like a like a friend imagine how he treats a girlfriend like I was just amazed I was just like like, he, treat, he treats women so well. And I was just amazed with how much of a gentleman this guy was. And I was like, these guys exist. I'm not one to fall fast at all, by any means. Like, me it takes a lot for me to get feelings for someone. Um, so, I, re I really liked him. And then when we all went back to the beach house. This isn't the lifeguard house. This is the beach house that Allie and I were staying in. We all went back to the beach house. We're all, like, pre-gaming, getting ready for the lifeguard party that night. And I was, like, a little tipsy, and I was venting to him on the bed, and I was like, you know what? This happened to me this spring. This guy broke my heart. I wrote this song about him, and I'm currently in a relationship that I'm not happy in, and I still love this guy, and I don't want to hurt him, and I need help. And he was just being a genuine guy. He had a girlfriend at the time, and he was just giving me advice, and he's like, this is what you should do. You need to tell this guy how much he means to you. You never told him this. You need to end things with your ex, and, and like, all this stuff, and he was being so helpful and genuine and then we we're all playing manhunt that night before we got in the uber to go to the lifeguard party and he texted me meet me behind the car one of Allie's work friends who i also worked with i told her that i had a little crush on you and she was like she told me she thinks you're hot and i was like oh, what no way and i was like oh my god oh my god so I got my phone out and I was like, listen, the next round of Manhunt, I want you to come behind this car with me. <laughs> so we meet behind this car and I was like, listen, that talk we had, like it was really open and like it was so obvious there was a connection. So I asked her, I was like, listen, did you just tell me that because like as a friend or because like something else, like just there's something more? And she was like, nope, just a friend, just a friend. And I was so let down because I thought, I was like, there's no way that that could have been possible. Like, just a friendly talk because yeah. there was so much more to it than just being nice and opening up to me like that. I was honestly just scared of, like, cheating or anything like that because I'm not that kind of person. So I didn't want to lead myself into that and, like, cause even more drama than there already was. And I think he knew that. Like, there was so much drama going in my, like, relationship life at the moment. He knew, like, it would be, like, kind of impossible for me to admit that even if I felt that. So we all get in the Uber, and we go to the lifeguard party. And on the way there, I'm like, we need to stop at Wawa. I need to get gum. Like, da-da-da-da-da. And we were, like, flirting so much in the Uber, so much in the Wawa, like, chasing each other in the Wawa. We really seemed like good friends just right, right off the bat. The bat. Jinx. <laughs> so then we get to the lifeguard party. So there was this girl Eesh. that came up to me and was like, hey, Gabby. Oh, and mind you guys, I was like drunk and she was too. I don't even know how I started talking to this girl, to be honest. Like when I'm like, when I have like, when I'm drunk, I guess I'm really <laughs> outgoing because this girl comes up to me and I become yeah. BFFs with her. And she's like, you know, like. I really want to get with this guy tonight, but I need help. Can you kiss me in front of him to help me make him jealous? And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, like, I'm I'm an open book. Like, I'm, like, I, like I said, I like adventure. Like, I was just like, okay, whatever will make this into my summer story. So I kissed the girl, and 
Um, the guy, like, didn't really care. I don't drink or anything, so I was at this lifeguard party just sitting down because I don't drink and I was doing nothing but keeping my eye on her because I was, like, <laughs> so attracted to her, so I couldn't get my eyes off her. So, like, she went out to... I didn't know she was going to kiss this girl. And I go out on the balcony because I, I thought I was going to talk to her more because I really wanted to. And then I see her kiss a girl, and I was like... And I turned around, and I walked back inside. Yeah, and I was like, no, 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 it's not like that. You thought I was, like, the other way. I was like, no. So then... I was like, I was like no, too. No. I saw your face. I knew I saw disappointment in that face. When I'm drunk, I'm really stupid. And the mm -hmm. sink water tasted really bad at that beach. And all Allie had in the beach house was Propel water. And that doesn't, like, fix my thirst. So I was... I was like, guys, I'm thirsty. I need water. I need water, real water. She goes, oh, in my car, in my trunk, I have a, a big um, tub of Voss water. And I was like, oh, thank God. Thank they, don't God. Even, they don't even sell Voss in tubs. I don't know. She just said that. And so she's like, let's go to my car. I was like, okay. So we start walking to her car, which is like blocks away, may I add. And... As soon as we get to that car, I guess Allie told Colin, can you just make sure she's okay? And he was like, yeah, I was already on it. So he started following me. And he's following me to this girl's car because he doesn't trust this girl. Yeah. And as soon as we get to the car, there's no boss water in there. And well, you didn't even, she was so drunk that she didn't know. She mm -hmm. just got in the passenger seat because the girl told her to get into the passenger seat. And I saw her open the trunk and there was no water in the trunk. So I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So I got the, like, I And she got started Gabby. her car, remember? Yeah, she started her car. I was like, she, she I was rolled really down the drunk. window. I was like, Gabby, get out of the car now. It was a heroic moment, and I looked at him like... I pretended wow. that Gabby was my um, sister. sister. We start walking back to the beach house, and I hurt my ankle, and then Colin gave me a piggyback ride, and everything was peachy and perfect. We were all going to leave the party until every story needs, like, a grand finale. <laughs> until this girl grabs my arm, takes me into a bedroom, slams the door, locks it, like, puts a chair up against it, tries to kiss me again. I'm like, oh, my God, like, what's going on? And um, just so you guys know, I know this girl personally now, and she's, like, said sorry, like, 800 times, and she's like, I'm sorry, I was just drunk, da, da, da. So it's not like it was Ill illegal. She was just really not herself. Colin breaks down, busts down the door, like, Allie's with him. Allie tells this girl off. She's like, give me my best friend back. Like, if you, like, you know Allie. She, like, but she was, like, yeah. a fighting girl that day. And I Colin was, was like, Colin, like, called her names. It was like, leave her alone. And then he grabs my hand and goes, let's get out of here. And as we're waiting for the Uber, I, I look part. at him. I'm holding his hand, and I go, kiss me, Colin. <laughs> And everyone's like, no, 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 no. Because he had a girlfriend and I had a boyfriend. And they're like, yeah. no, 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 no. All the boyfriends like, are like, no, really we cannot have this. I wanted to so bad because she's like mm -hmm. the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, damn. Like, I couldn't kiss her because everyone. Even knew. in the Uber, I was like leaning over trying to kiss him. And like everyone, Ali, everyone's like, no, like trying to separate us. Like, no, 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 no. Long story short, we get back to the beach house. And we kissed, obviously. And. We call each other Romeo and Juliet because we literally started the night that we met. I mean, the day we met was the day we fell for each other. And I don't want to start saying I fell in love with him that night, but I, I definitely, like, felt yeah. something because the next morning I was in a glow, and I've been in a glow ever since. And obviously I was still with my ex, and he was with his girlfriend. We had the most romantic summer fling ever. But he broke up with his girlfriend for me, and when it was time for me to break up with my ex for him, she I just couldn't do it. do it. So, for those of you guys asking why I posted about my five-year anniversary in October, that was because I was willing to put something that made me so happy aside to try to make something work with someone I spent so many years with because I didn't want those years to go down the drain. I felt bad for him. I felt like a horrible person, and I felt like I owed it to him. But instead, I let him on, and obviously, I'm not proud of that. I mean, I read it all over the comments, like, every day on Instagram. You guys accuse me of what I did, and I don't like to read my mistake over and over again. Yeah. I tried making it work. You guys saw my BeautyCon uh, New York City vlog where I took him to the Two-Faced dinner. I, 
but it, it was just the most forced thing I've ever done. Like, and I hurt him so bad. He was so hurt, guys. Like, the entire, like, month of September and October, like, he was so hurt. And then we finally became friends again. I mean, he found it in his heart to take me in as a friend after we had the best playing, like, ever. He found space in his heart to be my friend again. And I invited him to my Halloween party. And find him. He came to my Halloween party, and then we were inseparable ever since. And then early November, I broke up with... Yeah. And those of you guys who ask what our date is, what, when's our anniversary, we don't have a date. We just say the day we met is the day we started because we had... The only time we had off from each other was, like, September, when I was trying to make it work with my ex. We spent every day together. Mm-hmm. We were, like, we were inseparable. We've been together every single day, like, since we met, Ever. except for that time. And, and uh, when you go to L.A. And I that. couldn't be happier with the decision I made. I'm not advising cheating, guys. I just want you to learn from my mistakes, and if you're feeling like you're forcing a feeling or something, don't hurt the other person. Don't drag them on. My ex is in pain. He likes to, now he likes to deny it and say he's happy now, which I, I'd like to believe, but he still, I get the occasional text of like mean words and and I know I don't I don't hate him I hurt him like I really did and like obviously no one no one wins in this situation like I'm even in shock that I did what I did because two years three years ago I would have sworn I was gonna marry that guy like you don't know yourself four or five years from now like when or especially when you're in like you're like 17, 18, 19, you think you know what you want. Things change. Some people do actually do know what they want, but I was one of those people that second-guessed myself like towards the end of the relationship, and I knew that it just wrote its course. I I feel bad for him, and I'm, I feel sorry for him, and half the reason I'm putting this video out there is because, obviously, I've gotten threats saying, hey, I'm going to tell everyone you cheated on me if you keep doing this, or if you keep posting with him or if you keep you know so yeah I'll put that out there I was not respectful I mean I wouldn't consider it cheating since the relationship ended way before it actually ended but yeah I did lead someone on I hurt someone I was not a good person but that wasn't because I was trying to be a bad person that was because I was trying to battle the pain that he and I would feel after almost six years of being together like it wasn't just you. He also... What, we there's weren't other, a good There's other thing. things. There's other happen. things. Like, he... If he didn't... Let's just say, if he didn't give me that right, I would have never cheated. And I guess you guys can... I mean, I'm not the person that's going to na nationally on, a on YouTube behind. say what this guy did. There's but, a reason behind why she thought it wasn't a bad idea. Yeah. I've been, I've literally been through hell and back emotionally with my ex, and I think it's, it's great that I can finally let myself be happy for once, you know, so, and I'm really happy with this one, and I'm just really glad that I met him. I love our story. My Romeo. Did you leave me?